I'm Sean Mosh, and I'm going to show you how to design your own decals in Cricut Design Space. First, you have to have your idea or your inspiration. For example, someone reached out to me with these images as their inspiration for a decal they wanted to design. So the main piece of this design is that infinity symbol. So I'm going to go to images and search infinity. I'm going to click on advanced search so I can start looking at all of the different possibilities. You could purchase just one of these to use as a component in your design. I'm going to look and see if there's any free ones. There are not. Let's go to Google and I'm going to search free infinity symbol. There's one. Let's look around and find one we like. Now we do not need to find one that has these breaks in it because we can put that in all by ourselves. I do want one that's kind of fatter on the inside, like this one. Okay, this one says free download. Let's go check that out. Free. I did the same thing for feather and look at that. I get multiple feathers. So I am going to add to cart, check out. Then I need some birds. Okay, that one's kind of cute. If you wanted to purchase some of these designs, you could totally do that. Now that I've downloaded a variety of things, I'm going to go in my downloads folder and start to bring them into design space. I like to just bring everything in first and then I can start playing with them. Now, if they come in a zip folder, you're going to have to do a quick Google search on how to unzip a zip folder for the device you're working with. For me, I can right click and choose extract and then put it right here. Now that I've extracted it, I can get rid of this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. This is the one I downloaded twice. All right, now let's add these. Upload, upload image, browse. And now I want to pick the SVG. If it does not say dot SVG on yours, make sure you look for the browser icon or that the one that says um, HTML document. Ooh, this has multiple. Oh, that's right. This one did have multiples. I'm going to bring all of these in because who knows which one I'm going to actually go with. I kind of like this one because of the curve, but we'll see what we end up going with. All right, I think I have one more thing to upload. Okay, so this one is clip art and it comes in JPEG. So we'll go continue and then let's go to two colors and use the select to remove all of the gray. Apply and continue. We're going to pick the single layer. Well, that didn't come in too bad. All right. Let's make that smaller. 
Maybe we can make it even smaller. All right. So now we have all the different elements we need to start to put this together. You can see there's a break in the infinity symbol, both at the top and at the bottom. So in order to create those breaks, I am going to need a shape. I'm going to use a circle. And then I can just stretch that circle to fill the space that I want to break out. And then I would do the same thing over here. Now I'm going to click on this oval, hold my shift key and click on the infinity and use slice because slice is going to cut through that. So now I just cut out that piece. So let's do the same thing over here. Slice will only work when you have two things selected. So that's why I have to do one oval at a time. Right here, it doesn't really look like anything changed, but if I change the color of this to gray, you can see it left that black piece. And since I'm having a hard time selecting just the black, I'm going to go over here in my layers panel and then I can select it there. So now I have those breaks. To put the leaf in, I'm just going to rotate this one. And my design space software is just being glitchy. Now I could either trim off this little part so that the leaf is actually becomes this line. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to turn off the feather and then slice that off. So I'm going to make this really tiny in hopes that I can just kind of get that piece. So now I'm going to hold my shift key again and slice. I still have that little piece hanging there, so I'm going to use contour. And just make it go away. Now I can turn the feather back on. All right, so now that's kind of looking like this. So now if I take both of these and use combine and weld them together, now you can start to see the design coming together. All right. Now all we need to do is the little birds over here. I mean, honestly, I could just put these birds in there and call it a day. Oops. But I kind of want the birds to go with that curve. Kind of like how they did over here. So I want my first bird to be kind of in here. So now how do we get these birds to go the direction we want them to? Well, I'm going to look at the individual birds. I really like this little guy right here. So I am going to go copy and paste. So I have a whole nother grouping. Then in this first grouping, I can use contour and hide all 
except for that one guy. And now I have that one little bird. I can keep going, doing that to make them fill that curve. I know that seems like a lot of work, but this is how you would design your own thing. And there might be some of these, like right in here, those two could stay in there. So let's do that. Like I think I want this one and this one. So now I'm going to click on the ones I don't want on. I might be able to leave that one and that one. Let's see. This is not an exact science. And we can make adjustments. But look at that. That's starting to give that feel. And actually, I think I'm going to turn this one off because I just want a little bit flying out. All right, let's do some more. Look at how nice that works, actually. Okay, if I do... So I'm going to turn off all of these down here. The farthest one out. That one. Let's maybe turn that one off too. Do I have two birds overlapping each other? I think I do. Okay, let's do another one. I can resize them. I'm going to turn on that one. I kind of like that. All right, now I'm going to get rid of these because I don't need them. Because I want these to cut out exactly where they are, I am going to attach everything to hold the placement in position. Now, all I have to do is add the wording. So, there's words here, here, and here. I can just find a font I like. And it was kind of a scripty font. If you're looking for more fonts, I highly recommend going to the website to font. I want something. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of nice. I'm not going to type up all the words, but you get the idea. I put words to words and the rest of your words. So that's how you could design your own decal. I hope this tutorial helped you learn something new about using Cricut Design Space and inspired you to try designing something by combining different elements. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.